It's Wednesday, 15th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Notwithstanding advisories from the Union and state governments against the use of national flags made of plastic, the sale of such items is brisk in wholesale markets across Chennai. Wholesale shops in Broadway, as well as Purasawakam, have been selling plastic flags to schools and colleges in bulk. A few shopkeepers said that they were unaware of the rule against the use of plastic flags. Last week, the centre urged people not to use national flags made of plastic and asked states and union territories to ensure strict compliance with the flag code. Since plastic flags are not biodegradable, it becomes difficult to dispose them in a way befitting the national flag, the advisory said. The sprawling lush gardens of Raj Bhavan, spread over 32 acres, will soon have honeybees humming all over with city-based Central Bee Research Training Institute or CBRTI identifying 25 bee colonies to be set up on the campus. On the occasion of the country's 72nd Independence Day, Governor Vidya Sagar Rao will inaugurate the new facility at his official residence on Ganesh Kind Road today. The efforts are part of Honey Mission, coordinated by Forest Space Industries, aimed at spreading awareness and importance of honeybees, their role in pollination, particularly among visitors at Raj Bhavans across Indian states. After Pune, the governor's residence in Mumbai will get similar bee colonies. Firefighters searched into the night on Tuesday for survivors and bodies amid the rubble of a motorway bridge that had collapsed in the morning in the northern Italian port city of Genoa, killing at least 22. A 50-metre high section of the bridge, including a tower that anchored several supports, crashed down with as many as 35 vehicles driving on it, landing on the roof of two warehouses, plunging huge slabs of reinforced concrete onto train tracks and into a riverbed. More than 400 people were evacuated from 11 buildings located near or below the still standing of the bridge, the city said. The collapse appears not to have killed anyone under the road, but only those who were driving on it, the Civil Protection Agency said earlier. 300 firefighters are working in the wreckage using sniffer dogs to try and locate survivors. Four people have been pulled alive from the rubble so far.